The House comes to questions for oral answer. Question number one in the name of Nuk Karako. My question is to the Minister of Finance and asks how does New Zealand's growing economy and the government's commitment to responsible physical management mean New Zealand is well placed to respond to the Kaikoura earthquake? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr. Speaker, as uh, we've asserted to the House many times, the government is focused on getting its books back into surplus uh, and maintaining growing surpluses for exactly the reason that we need to be able to handle economic shocks, uh, including natural disasters. So with a manageable level of public debt, uh, surpluses and a growing economy, uh, we're well positioned to respond to the Kaikoura earthquake. Uh, Treasury has advised that the economy has relatively strong momentum, uh, business and consumer confidence, with low public debt and strong surplus, there's fiscal headroom to support the rebuild and recovery. Supplementary question, Nuk Karako. What market commentary has he seen on the ability of the New Zealand economy to respond to the Kaikoura earthquake? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, market reaction has been relatively limited, which is reassuring given that the international coverage of the earthquake has tended to emphasise its more dramatic aspects. The New Zealand dollar fell initially, but has largely now reversed that fall. BNZ reports that the hit to GDP will be substantially less than the Christchurch impact, although there will be some significant short-term effects for the regional economy uh, and some pretty dramatic effects on some industries, uh, potentially the fishing industry. Uh, activity, of course, will be significantly boosted by the rebuilding of infrastructure. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Nuk Karako. What advice has he received from officials on progress in responding to the earthquake and what indications of physical implications? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, we are fortunate that the main impact has fallen outside highly populated areas, but of course the impact on the, relative, on the smaller communities uh, is intense. Officials advise that the most significant impacts are likely to be increased infrastructure expenditure to repair roads and other utilities infrastructure and decreased tax revenue in the short term as a result of business disruption. No cost estimates are yet available at this stage. Uh, the government's focus at this point is on immediate response but a number of, uh, of course, number of organisations such as owners of buildings uh, and ports will be making their own estimates of damage. Supplementary question, Nuk Karago. How does the government's ongoing commitment to physical responsibility mean New Zealand remains well placed to respond to future shocks? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, uh, as the government uh, as the government's books have come into surplus, there was always going to be a challenge to manage rising expectations about what could happen, what, uh, what the extra money could be spent on. And this week's earthquake is a sharp reminder of why fiscal restraint will need to be ongoing. That is, having surpluses doesn't mean that the government can go uh, spending more money on ineffective public services or infrastructure that may not be needed. Uh, we know that there will be economic uh, and natural disaster shocks at some point in the future. We certainly didn't predict this one so soon after the Christchurch earthquakes. So it reinforces the need for the government to stick to the approach that has been successful. My office has been advised that the answers to questions two and four will be longer than normal as uh, the Prime Minister attempts to give more detail. Question 